In today's video, we delve into the topic of Bible verses about thankfulness. Gratitude is a virtue that transcends time and culture, and the Bible has much to say about it. Let's explore some of the most impactful verses that teach us about the importance of being thankful. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18 In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. This verse reminds us that thankfulness should not be conditional. Whether you're going through good times or bad, giving thanks is the will of God for your life. It's easy to be thankful when everything is going well, but the true test of gratitude comes when we face challenges. By being thankful in all circumstances, we align ourselves with God's will and open the door for His blessings. Psalm 107 verse 1 O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. The psalmist emphasizes the eternal nature of God's mercy. When we give thanks to the Lord, we acknowledge not just the good things we have now, but also the everlasting kindness and mercy that God extends to us. This verse encourages us to have a long-term perspective on God's goodness, which should make us even more thankful. Colossians 3 verse 15 and let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. This verse links the peace of God with thankfulness. When we allow God's peace to rule in our hearts, gratitude naturally follows. It's a reminder that thankfulness isn't just an emotion but a choice that can bring peace into our lives. By choosing to be thankful, we invite God's peace to dwell within us. Ephesians 5 verse 20 giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Apostle Paul urges us to give thanks for all things, not just the things we consider to be blessings. This includes the trials and tribulations that we may not understand. By being thankful in every situation, we acknowledge that God is in control and that all things work together for good for those who love Him. Psalm 136 verse 1 O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. This verse is similar to Psalm 107 verse 1 but serves as a powerful reinforcement. The repetition of the phrase, for his mercy endureth forever, throughout Psalm 136 serves as a mantra for us to remember God's everlasting mercy and to be thankful for it. Philippians 4 verse 6 Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto God. Paul advises us not to be anxious but to present our needs to God with thanksgiving. This verse teaches us that gratitude should accompany our prayers. When we approach God with a thankful heart, we demonstrate faith that He will provide for us, which in turn can alleviate our anxieties. Psalm 100 verse 4 Enter into His gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise, be thankful unto him, and bless his name. This verse describes the attitude we should have when we come into God's presence. Thanksgiving and praise should be our entry point into a deeper relationship with God. Being thankful is not just a one-time act but a continuous state of heart that keeps us close to God. James 1 verse 17 Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, either shadow of turning. James reminds us that every good thing in our lives comes from God. Recognizing this fact should make us profoundly thankful. God is consistent in His goodness, and there is no change or shadow of turning with Him. This consistency should make our gratitude steadfast as well. Romans 1 verse 21 because that, when they knew God, they glorified Him not as God, either were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. This verse serves as a warning about the consequences of ingratitude. When people fail to give God the glory and thankfulness He deserves, their hearts become darkened. Being unthankful can lead to a downward spiral away from God, emphasizing the importance of maintaining a thankful heart. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 15 Thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. Paul closes his discussion on generosity 
and thanksgiving by acknowledging the ultimate gift from God, Jesus Christ. This unspeakable gift is the foundation of our faith and the greatest reason for our thankfulness. Recognizing the magnitude of this gift should fill our hearts with overwhelming gratitude. May these verses inspire you to cultivate a heart of gratitude in all seasons of life. Thank you for joining us in exploring these transformative scriptures.